Hello, we're going to be covering how to configure DNS forwarders in Windows Server 2008 R2. We're going to be covering this topic today because I do see a lot of questions on the uh, on the online forums regarding how to configure forwarders in DNS. In this example, I already have a Windows DNS server running in a virtual machine, specifically in this case on a, a Oracle Virtual Box. And this is a Windows 2008 R2 DNS server. Uh, I don't have any forward lookup zones created on this server, so this server is going to act as a caching only server. However, at the moment, uh, the default installation of Windows Server will use its root hints to resolve any queries that it cannot do on its own. In the case of uh, an internal DNS server where you, rather than using the root hints, where you want, might want to use your ISP's DNS servers, you could go ahead and, and configure the server to go ahead and forward. So let's take a look at how to do that. Uh, in the DNS admin console, I'm going to right click the name of the server and click properties. You'll notice several tabs in the properties of the DNS server. We're going to go ahead and click on the Forwarders tab. You'll notice by default you have no information in the Forwarders tab. We're going to go ahead and add or edit this uh, list so that we can add um, either our, our ISP's DNS servers or we can use some DNS servers that are publicly available on the internet. So for this example I'm going to use uh, Google's uh, DNS servers that are on the internet. Uh, so the IP addresses are 8.8.4.4 .4 and I'll click enter and Windows Server 2008 R2 will try to resolve the IP back to a um, fully qualified domain name. It's not a requirement for this to work but it's just validating that it can resolve to back to a name. The second DNS server that we're going to introduce as a forwarder is a uh, DNS server that Google has 8.8.8.8 .8 and I'll click enter there and we'll allow a few seconds for DNS to go ahead and resolve it. The way that DNS is resolving this information is at this moment is using its root hints. Now that our DNS server resolved both names, we'll go ahead and click OK. You'll notice that both of these DNS servers are not on our forwarders list. We also notice uh, here that there is an option to use root hints if no forwarders are available. That is the default option, however you can change it if you feel that that uh, configuration is not appropriate for your um, your business needs. If we uncheck the selection, the DNS server will not use the root hints in the event that the forwarders are not available. So it is a good idea to, to leave it enabled in the event that you want to try to use your forwarders first and if these are not available for some reason then it will default back to the root hints. Now there is a root hints tab on this uh, properties sheet. We can click on that and you'll take a look at these are the, the root hints servers that are on the internet. Now this is preloaded with uh, Microsoft DNS. Uh, there hasn't been a change to this list in quite a while, uh, but you can make some modifications here if you needed to. And that's basically all you need to do on the DNS side to uh, be able to resolve host names. Now if I go to the command prompt, we can use the NSLOOKUP command to verify that this, this DNS server is now able to resolve host names on the internet. So I'll go ahead and type in NSLOOKUP. Now my NSLOOKUP prompt resolves uh, this DNS server's fully qualified name because I do have a record in, in the reverse lookup zone in DNS for this uh, IP address. And there it is. So here I can go ahead and just type in www.google.com and we got a response back. Well that's it for this demonstration how to set up forwarders in DNS. Uh, thank you for watching.